Rodriguez, man. Open. You got it ready and open. Yeah, no. Not the guy Honest? Because they do it. Because he didn't let it fuck it up. <laughs> he, really, he didn't subscribe, so he really fucked up. Can you hear my breathing? <laughs> Keep the on. So if I breathe too hard, just give me like a, <laughs> take, give me like a, a signal. Back. Well, all the cameras are finally rolling. Audio is rolling. And we are sitting here. Let me do this. We're sitting here with a legend. <laughs> with someone who. Wait, he's not in the background right now of your shot? Is he? Is that fine? Yeah, yeah, it's so, totally fine. This is a live audience. Oh, yeah. This is live audience. We're authentic. We're organic. This oh, is how we cook something, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cook something. What do you want to eat? What does he have? He doesn't know how to cook. Your friend. No, your he, chorizo. He'll meal, he'll meal prep for you, bro. <laughs> you look like you can cook. So far, we want that. You want, you want Maruchan? He got this. Maruchan. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll order something. <laughs> but we're sitting here with, if you haven't known yet, then you're not on social media, but with one of the most un inspirational, motivational, funniest host, content creator that literally is a legend from TikTok, Instagram, yes, and sir. all the other yes, platforms, sir. Mr. Leo Gonzalez, baby. Oh. Let's go. Wow. He, Thank almost, you. he almost didn't come. He almost didn't come. I almost didn't come. I almost didn't. I looked at the following. And then I was like, I'll come. <laughs> I'll come. <laughs> nah. We've we done our I'm due diligence. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't. But how are you? How are you doing? You've been everywhere doing everything, working hard. I mean, you are a nonstop content creator. Iconic. Um, imagine. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I'm good, honestly. I've just been, I've been busy. Thank God I've been busy. Um, cause there's enough work right now, which yeah. is nice. So something about us here is we love to know the story of who, what and who our guest is, where they came from, the beginnings before social media. Because it's everybody admires to be someone like like the old people at the top, right? Yeah. Right now, me, Dylan, we, we want to we wanna be like you. So my co-host today, Dylan, finally, he's back. I was, a long say, time. I was watching, I was like, when's Dylan coming back? Bring Dylan back. <laughs> he's I, been gone, bro. I don't like I've been I've been he's been in and out. Like he's not consistent. It's it's Dylan. I don't like being in it's, front of the camera. I like being behind the camera. That was pick me. <laughs> oh my that god, was no! He was, How? Like, he was like, just give me the back of the stage. <laughs> oh That's god. where I'm comfortable. But if you need my talent, I support. I'll be there. I'll be there. Uh, hey, <laughs> you pig. Today he was like, well, did you want me on there? I mean, I wasn't ready. He got a haircut yesterday. Oh, uh, look nah, at this I guy. Like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, enough. And so for everybody who don't know, who don't subscribe to the, the newsletters, like my mm. someone I don't want to mention, right? Right. <laughs> Where did you come? From? Where did you grow up? Where yeah. were you born? So this this whole thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna give all the information to Dylan because Dylan. I, was, I bring you my notepad or my Mac. I gotta yeah, write this down. It's recorded. Um, <laughs> Dylan. So basically, Dylan didn't want to pay for the for the paywall that the articles give. I think um, <laughs> Rolling Stone has a paywall, and I I think and I think. Uh, Fortune magazine, two ninety nine has a paywall, um, and you don't, and it's not, you don't have to pay for the year. <laughs> I'm, gonna go. back, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back to three ninety nine, bro. There we go. And, go uh, fund me, Dylan, right now. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna give you the information that was on those articles. Um, so I'm originally from Hanford, California. Yeah, I got that part. Yeah, you got that part. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got like. No, you know what, Dylan? Let's start. What do you know? <laughs> All right. Oh All right, shit! Okay. Here we go, Dylan. Um, let's see. What do I know? Can I bring out my little points from? Oh, mm. I got bro. I I'm, I got notes, bro. I got notes. Right. Check it. 
Check California like native. You, like you check that he really what, did. You see this? Private time. Nah, <laughs> oh. Hey, you know. You don't see those heartbroken letters. Never mind. Hold up. <laughs> Stepsister. Wait, what is that? <laughs> Wait, what was that? I, I had to delete my my search history right now. Can I see that? <laughs> just a, I won't just show him. Just show him. No, 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 oh, please do. TikTok sensation known for his. You copied and pasted? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's a copy and paste. That's I think not a copy and my paste. publicist wrote that. Oh, that's cap. That for his account has amassed over 2.5 million followers. I have 2.6. Oh, oh see, see, there it is. It says 55 million likes. I have 80 million likes. Oh. So this is from last year. That's from Fortune magazine. That's not from that. That's from the free version of it. Oh. It's cause ah, <laughs> I know where you got this from. Where? This is from Famous Birthdays. <laughs> I, I See, porque he said Adam uh, Ray. Okay, <laughs> that's from Famous Birthdays. Hey, oh. <laughs> but Leo, something you got to know: this podcast is on a budget. Mm-hmm. We got. <laughs> they pay me. In hap- they pay me in happy days, not, not <laughs> no. in dollars, bro. I just like Adam. <laughs> He has collaborated with other TikTok creators, including Gilberto Ortiz, <laughs> Carlos Prada, Santi, and Mar- Marcos. And so, oh, my gosh. Yeah, valido. You went on one website. <laughs> oh, my. No. no. I got to fire him. I have five free articles. I got to fire him Dylan. right after this. Oh, my gosh. All right. Hartford, well, California. Hey, I'm my from work Hanford. was done. My work was done. <laughs> Hanford, California. I'm from Hanford, California, which is close to Fresno, uh, about three hours north. Um and uh, yeah, I mean, I grew up over there. I'm an only child, and uh, which is why I'm on the internet now for attention. And um, yeah, I've been in LA for about two, almost like two and a half years now. You are a TikTok uh, goat. No. Yes. You 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 gotta admit that you are one of the ones that started. Posting videos on TikTok when nobody else was at that time, which was in one of the toughest times, obviously, the world was going through. But before we get into that, I'm the reason the vaccine came out. <laughs> oh, okay. I was there with Dr. Fauci <laughs> when it was manufactured. And no, yeah, that I has been the fastest <laughs> vaccine ever created, by the it way. It was the fastest. Yeah. So we, we, know who to, we know who to blame. We know who to blame. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Growing up there in that city, how, what was your childhood like? What, being an only child, growing up there, what's, like, how was that? What is the Leo that we don't know was there? Um, my, my, my childhood was very, uh, it was pretty lonely. I was, I was, I grew up homeless with my mom. It was, damn, it shifted. <laughs> It shifted. We went from laughing. Um, but, yeah, it was just my mom and I, and we were, uh, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. wait. <laughs> Boy, gentlemen, imagine. Um, um, no, but, yeah, it was, it was just us uh, um, most of the time. Um, and so, you know, one person that I really, like, clung on to was George Lopez. I think, like, I, I was watching him in 2007. Um, and I just, I just, I lo- I resonated with the story a lot. I was like, he's an only child. He's Mexican. Has a big head, and he, um, and the story is about his dad being absent and him being raised by a mom who, um, yeah, was pretty crazy. So, like, with with that, were you this confident, funny in high school already? No, nah, I will like in seventh grade. The reason I became funny is uh, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't think I'm funny like that. But the 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 reason I tried to be funny was I think because both of the gangs at my school. That's why I was like I was trying to be safe. Uh, that's all it was. It's like I was like if I can make if I can make both gangs laugh, then maybe they won't touch me. Um, Cause I was already stressed out. I was already like, I was already scared, and I was already in that neighborhood, and so I didn't want to. I didn't want to be a part of that. I didn't want them. I was just scared of everything, and so I was like, if I can be funny, 
then then we're good. And I and I think it worked because then they both liked me. Everyone loves the funny guy. But was it one of those things that you were trying to beat people to the punch? Um, not at first. Because they say that no, like you people that are funny are. I'm gonna say the joke before somebody else says it for me. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I I resonate with that now. Yeah, yeah. I think, but at that time it was like I'm I'm if I make you laugh, then I'll be safe. Because I'm so awkward and I'm so shy and I'm so nervous that yeah. if I make you laugh, I'll trick you into thinking that I'm normal and I'm not. And and so that's what that was. Now I resonate with, like, I'll beat you to the punch. Like, oh, I'm so fat. So before you say it, you know, <laughs> because I read the comments. Um, yeah. And so, uh, uh, yeah, but, but that's how it was at first. It, was your confidence something that you struggled with? Like, do you still struggle with that now, like, confidence-wise? Or, like, you you are who you are, and you don't care what anybody says about it? No, I, 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 I uh, it's kind of layered, because I, 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 confidence, I never, I genuinely never thought about, mm -hmm. because I never was trying to be a, uh, some type of, I wasn't trying to paint myself in some type of way. I think when you grow up homeless, you're just trying to survive. I don't care what I look like. I'm not trying to do this or try to be that. I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not trying to, like, look a certain way. I'm homeless. Like, I don't care. Nothing else matters. So, I was homeless and my mom was sick. I don't care what you think about me. I was yeah. miserable. And, and so and so, um, I think that has grown now because now that I'm uh, in this space, in this digital space, I'm still – I still – in some ways don't care because I'm like I um phones off please I uh, um <laughs> I I'm I'm trying to just uh I'm still trying to be, just be funny I, yeah that, that's all I've ever tried to be no matter what like I I always think like when people comment on other stuff I'm like if I'm not funny then just go yeah that's it like if I'm not for you it is what it is if I'm not for you, oh trust me that's fine yeah and that's the issue with like our society is that like we um, one of the issues with with our society is that we all these companies for for so many years have been trying to be just for us. Like Amazon, one day just introduced like this two day shipping, yeah. And 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 then Walmart was like, you know, introduced introduced and you know, and Target like we'll bring the groceries out to you. And now, as of a few months ago, like we'll put it in your fridge. <laughs> Like, yeah. And so this whole, our, our, our society, our economy is literally like, we will do this for you. Yeah. We will go Instacart for you. You order and in 45 minutes we'll bring it to you. And like, that's the issue that I, I wish we understood that like, if you don't think someone's funny, I promise you that's fine. Yeah. There's people that I don't think are funny on my feed. And I just think like, well, I'm not funny to a lot of people. And but I know that God has used the the people that do think I'm funny to make my dreams come true. And so if I don't think that person's funny, that's not my business. And fuck, is it so nice when we mind our own business? Oh, it's so nice when you realize, like, he wasn't for you. Yeah. She's not supposed to make you laugh. But I pro she made someone else laugh. And, and that person that she made laugh needed to laugh today. So yeah. I get off of your fucking horse, I promise you. Okay. I'm not the only reason we're we here. Go. Okay, we got to give it up. We got to okay. give it up. You got to comment up loud. Yes, sir. Preach. Preach. Amen. Preach. There it is. So you, you, you brought up being homeless. What's your mentality when you don't know what, where you're going to sleep or what you're, what you're going to eat? You and your mom, I mean, it's, it's a two-man group right there, a two-person group. Yeah. What does that do to you personally? At what what age was this? Um, I um, I think it started when we were like ten. When I was like ten or eleven, yeah. and then we didn't get a place until I was a junior in high school. Um, uh, and so, I mean, it was she did everything she could. She sourced me into like she would go stay somewhere and then she dropped me off and I'd stay in like a someone's place and somewhere um so I think it was just tricky because I I think that the world is not built to accommodate 
struggle. Um, I think we 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 try, but we just haven't we haven't hit that mark. Um, uh, I think the CPS and all those systems. Um, I think they try, but um, there's only so much the books can teach you. Yeah. Um, so what did it teach you? Something that the book couldn't teach anybody. I think they're they're, they're it's just layered. I I think it's just um, I uh, uh, I learned so much just about power and how you're looked at depending on where you're at, and um, and that's really big because I think like now uh, at this age you look at things and you just think like damn like people are suffering right now people are struggling right now and 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 um and they don't know i showed at school because at that age i was hiding everything pretty well behind jokes yeah um and and um yeah and so I, and I i think i to, to this day i still struggle with stuff from back then because still today i like you know if i go to like a like a movie premiere or something uh and they've got like like uh, they'll have people walking around with like food, yeah. or like that, like a buffet line or something. I saw that mentality of like, oh, I'm not gonna reject free food because you know, it's free. Like, what if I don't eat later? So I'm trying to still teach myself like, you'll eat after, or or you already ate, or yeah. there will be food. You don't have to take it because it's free. Yeah, you know. And so that's something that I still like uh, struggle with, or like an open bar. Too. Oh God! Don't didn't do didn't does that too. Oh. He struggles so much with an open bar. With an open bar, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's free. I'll be the bartender at the end of the night, bro. Like, on the other side. Let's nope. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about adioses. Dylan, why not? I'll, I'll be my own bartender. Like, I'm not going to bartend for anyone. I'll just start mixing drinks left and right. Just no, we, we have some couple, like, mixers here. You know, Jose is a big mixer. Jose, he, you do Jose? now. No. He, so he gets a red cup. If there's a red cup present, he'll get it. And oh, then. Nice. But, and if there's a four locals, he'll pour it in there. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a tequila He'll pour that same thing in yeah. there And then if there's that a happy it. dad Pours in there And then mixes it up Serves it Versatile Yeah Versatile Yeah We love a verse What were you saying though About <laughs> <laughs> Man so you Do you feel like you came a long way then From back then to now Yeah Cause you're 28. I'm 28. Yeah, oh, you got that part. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. You did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, you said first. I seen one that said 27, and then I seen a happy birthday. Ah, oh, thank you. Then turns 28. So happy, oh, yeah. happy, happy belated happy birthday. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You know, where are the balloons? And nobody I was balloons? wondering too. Where are the balloons? <laughs> no one brought flowers. What the fuck? Oh, they, we got, they got the happy, but not the birthday. Sorry. But we'll bring the birthday. Yeah, yeah. After there is like a whole show coming and stuff for you. I heard. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, we'll be ready. <laughs> we got you sending out that right now when you walk out. Okay. Dylan's a singer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, you. You know how we do things. So, do you are, do you consider yourself one of the biggest now on social media? No. For our age group. For Because I'm 27. He's 21. No, he's 23. No, no. 23. 20, he's 23. You're, you're how old? 23. 23. Still, baby. You're 27? 27. Yeah, you're doing big things, working at the school and everything. Yeah, I look like 30, That's though, time. but I know. No, no. I'm saying you're doing big things. Thank you. School. No, it's because Dylan's always, like, putting me down for no reason. I'm not. Like, you seem like that. that. <laughs> no, I'm not. How? I'm the one that supports him. I'm... I'm, I'm yeah. I'm his right hand man. I have a bad idea, and he says, fuck it, let's do it. I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, you, that's me. You always, oh, yeah, he's an enabler. You need that friend we to get, get a, We need a good enabler or something. Yeah, definitely. I live my, my childhood through Dylan. That's nah. the thing. That's the way oh. things go. <laughs> That's nice. Dylan's like, man, I've always wanted to party. Dylan, let me take you to party. Oh. I got you. So, you know, you got to have those type of friends. And, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, dude, we are at an age where we're still learning everything. Yeah, yeah. We're learning yeah. all this right now that we're doing. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If you haven't, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Really? Don't be a, don't be a Dylan, bro. Don't be a Dylan. Yeah. Hey, don't put yourself down. Yeah, come on. No, put him down. Put him down. Put, please put me down. <laughs> oh no, yo, chill. Yo, yo, what you guys? He's all. Please that choke noise. me. Please choke me. <laughs> please pull my hair. Damn, no, no, yo, Dylan, I did. do have a video of. <laughs> and now what? Uh, 
down, dude. <laughs> is it is it the choke me one? The the, the choke me daddy, choke me one? choke me daddy podcast. There is a podcast that's called Choke Me Daddy choke podcast. Me Daddy, yes. I haven't been asked on that one yet. Well, I'll get you on it. I, I know the person. I know the person. <laughs> She's sitting right there behind the camera. Oh, bring yeah. it back. Bring it back. Do you consider yourself a pioneer in this? No. No, not at all. I think, like, you know, you mentioned you had Angelitos. I think he's a pioneer. I think I think uh, Stephen G. Stephen um, is a pioneer. I think Adam Ray OK. They're people that that are so talented that we're doing it when there was nothing really to win. So what got you into this? Posting on on TikTok continuously, not just one vi- not just one video and let it go do its thing. Like continuously, my first check. Um, <laughs> I was just about to say there that. There you go. My first check. No, I'm just kidding. Um, are you? No, not yet, because I didn't get a check in for a long time. Um, so for the people that don't know, how long was it until you seen your first give back? Um, uh, let's see, I started in March of or May of 2020. I didn't get my first brand deal until February 2021. Mm. Um, my first, like, actual. Like, like actual, because before I got, like, the little, like, share this link type of one, you know. Um, don't do those. Um, and then, and then finally a year later, I, I got that one and then, and then, um, struggle for a little bit still. And then, and then, and then, um, So what's, so what's the, work. what's the struggle look, look like? Like this, look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Like this. You I'm can't do that. Bro, look you, <laughs> Lilo, you can't do that though. So for, for every. Dude, we're trying to be serious. <laughs> For every you know, like new content creator that's coming up or wants to be a con- content creator, what is something you would advise them of? What what's a good? Please tell us. Yes. The um, I mean I think that uh, you know uh, there's uh there's eight you know there's eight billion people uh, in the world and there's one billion users on TikTok and so. Um, I think you just have to be consistent. Um, don't worry about an audience yet. Because um, they'll come. I think that we, we need to realize that there's there's so many For You pages. I've only been on a tiny fraction of mm. of the world's For You pages. There's people oh. who don't know that I exist. Um, and, st- of course, and so there's a lot of people who I don't know exist who have millions of followers. And and, and that's that's good news is that is uh, if you keep going and you do what you love, what you know, uh, I think that an audience will love you because, you know, if you even if you feel like, especially if you feel weird or something, there's people that are gonna that are gonna like that. And they're gonna follow you and, and 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 rock with you the whole the whole way. So so now where you're 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 talking about your journey and you're talking about be consistent. Did you have to question yourself when you weren't getting those brand deals or before you got your brand deal? No, because I never did it to be, to be an influencer. Like, All right, so why did why'd you start this? So th- this is where the juicy part is. Yeah. This is what, what we want to know, what I want to know, what yeah. we want to know as a team. So why this, is, did, this is how it started. Let's do this. I um I was living in Reno, Nevada, um, and, and, and I did my first video there. Open it. Con confianza. Gracias. Me and Hach, with Hachiru. <laughs> <laughs> in class, bro. Yes, you, you make that fake cough just to open the hot cheetos. You make the you make the fake cough did just to ever, fucking fart. <laughs> did, did you ever suck? Um, what was that? Did you ever suck the hot cheeto in class? You didn't suck. You yes, just she crunched. did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No, no, no. You know, you know what I would do? Nobody I would put that. it in my no. mouth and let it dissolve enough oh. for it to not well, to yeah. crunch. Well, suck yeah, it. I would Whoa. suck it. Like, Whoa. You, you, <laughs> I was sucking it in class because I was like, you don't want to, you don't want to crunch it. Yeah, that's why I'm so. Good. It's, uh, <laughs> what I was saying though earlier is that when I started in Reno, Nevada, I um. I started with one video, and it was a. Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you can't do that. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Better than Akalitos right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already, we're we're already topping this right now. Oh my god, <laughs> that's well. Hey, he has a quote that everybody is resigning with. Don't let no salty bitch ruin your day. Exactly. True. Facts on per. True. Per. Per, per bitch. <laughs> per. Um, okay, <laughs> living in Reno, Nevada. I was living in Reno, Nevada, and I I did one video. Um, and 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 it was like a it was like a scare. I didn't know I didn't like I literally hadn't made f videos before like 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 this. I was trying to do like documentary style videos. I was trying to do like I was working at a TV station. I I studied journalism and broadcasting to be a news reporter. But you would have read Dylan. No, uh, he I did. Actually did. He I did. did. We're gonna get into that, but you beat us to it. So we'll do it. Do that. Do that. Why it's not your notes? <laughs> and you didn't look deep enough, not Dylan. And not. I had, I had to delete the rest two. of it. <laughs> That's strike two. Strike three, he's out. He's out. Dead ass. He's not coming back. For real. His partnership in this podcast is out. It's done. If Fire. you need a co-host, I've been he, wanting to do a podcast. He, he has a percentage of this, but I can get rid of it right away. I'll buy I'll, him out. Yeah, right now. $10. Ooh, I'll out. give you 12 <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, complete una chela, güey. I got one right here, bro. Um, Just he's gonna call you like at three in the morning, bro. So you, you better answer. I'll tell you that. I really will. You have to be available for him twenty four seven. For the podcast or just for life? Both. Both. You have to oh. be able to drive all the way. This, to this is like a brotherhood right here. Oh, yeah. oh no, that's okay. I'm an only child. <laughs> dog in, dog in. I'm I'm good. Um, yeah. So I started that video and I um, I uh, yeah, I got I got like traction that day on TikTok and so um, I got a few K followers that day. I had like twelve followers. And then I had a few thousand that night, and so I, it just kept getting more and more. And then I was like, ah, like if 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 that was a good video, like I have a few more ideas that maybe they'll like. And so I posted some more videos, and um, and they kept getting traction. And then and then I had a little a little down slope, and and yeah. and nobody watched, nobody liked for a second. And then I came out with a different uh, video that that I think it was like my first million views or something. What was that one? Um, for the people that don't know, I what don't is. remember. I want to say I was a teacher. I want to say I was impersonating a teacher. I've had so many now. Uh, no, it was not the taco I, truck I, one. I, I no, that one's way later, Dylan. Oh, Dylan. Dylan. I'm talking that's about the beginning. Are you that's serious, my Dylan? Straight three one. or not yet? Mm, Two point five. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um. No, because you try to seem knowledgeable to me. No, I'm not. He was, like, just, was that the? Bro, I mean, he was like, was that the one? Mm. Not that one. Okay, we'll get to it. <laughs> you know, I I know which videos you posted, and I'll tell you what day and what time. <laughs> he knows how it. He didn't even know what time he woke up today. You know, you know. I don't know what time. Oh, I woke up. Oh, I didn't know. Am I breathing okay? I'm not breathing too hard. Honestly, you're good. The one that's fucking okay. up is Dylan. Okay. He's messing it up. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna switch co-hosts right now. No, we need a balance. We need someone to fuck it up and someone to do it good. No, no, that, no. That's why. That's why I'm here. Dylan, why are you so quiet, bro? Because I need some hot Cheetos. He was talking about hot Cheetos. I want some hot Cheetos now. Blue bro. cheese. Ooh. That sounds oh. bad. At the Michoacana, you guys don't go to Michoacana and get oh. the hot Cheetos with cheese? Yes. Dude, Tell yes. me you've been to Michoacana. You've been to Michoacana. The one in Boyle Heights? There's everywhere. There's, oh, the one in Boyle Heights is bomb. All right. <laughs> All right. So with every, you're doing a lot. You're on the grind. You're on the go. When do you take time for yourself off of social media? Um. Well, what's that balance look like? That's the thing. Balance. The thing is, like, you have to find uh, you have to find a balance. Uh, I mean, the reality is, like, I've been making videos since I was, uh, mm, two thousand twelve. Mm, right, two thousand twelve. If I'm not, if like I'm correct, two thousand seven. Two thousand twelve was my first on YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. but like, I, I was making videos before, like my. At school, I was doing, uh, uh, like, the principal would let me use a camera, and then I'd do, like, little rewinds and interviews at school. Um, I was trying wow. to be, like, a little host. And then, um, and then uh, so, so, so I mean, this is stuff that I was doing for a long time for free. And now and people so are now seeing it's it. it's, like, a job, um, my, I don't really have, like, downtime from it because it's, like, I always liked it anyways. And and now, you know, when, when I meet people, like, in public, you can never really be like alone because they, 
you run into people who like watch and yeah and so it's uh, if you, you feel like you're always kind of clocked in but it's, it's good because it's what i it's what i like so do you feel that you were doing this type of content work way before even the world knew who you were so now that the world knows who you are, this is the just... The world. Oh, no. Ah, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you lying? I'm not lying. I'll you are my world. You. Oh. <laughs> I just had to put that out there. I'm sorry. It just it was, it was a perfect time to put it. I'm sorry. What's in it? <laughs> Happy dad. Best house out there, bro. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what good Dylan, bro? Why are you gonna do this, Dylan? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I am. I'm uncomfortable. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No, yeah. Um now that you're here, you're you've been doing this since 2006, 2007, doing these interviews, hosting. You studied this, and now you're in one of the biggest platforms ever, hosting live events, like literally in the news, you're doing I saw today's clip, movie role. Like you're doing so much stuff that, I don't know, did you ever imagine you would literally be sitting in the seats that you sit at now with these big-time people that we once looked at when we were younger? No, no, no. I didn't think I'd be on this podcast ever. I was waiting to get called. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, No, it's crazy because I think, like, I, I just think, like, dang, I... I I didn't realize it, and I wish I, I wish I, you know, I think when I was a kid, I, I had, like, this feeling, I was like, dang, I feel like, I feel like my life is so different, you know, than all of my friends, because I was like, they all have, like, these homes and all this stuff, and, and my life is so, like, just a different style, and so I always thought, like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a different life one day, like, no matter what, things will always be different, yeah. but I don't know, it'd be like this, and, and so I feel grateful, because it's crazy, it's just crazy. It's just, so how do you stay focused? How do you stay motivated? How I've do you stay? I've never had an issue not working. Like I, I've worked. I've worked through everything that has ever happened, um, and I don't know why. Um, I think maybe like as a kid, I, you know, I mean, even up until like 2019, I was uh, when I was living in um, in Hanford. I um, I remember like watching this uh, this guy. His name's Gotti Schwartz, and he's um, he's a uh, journalist and I was watching and I remember just like thinking like damn like if I can if I can learn to uh, um, sorry. go for it go for it go for it go for it, go for it. Guys. this is amazing I'm not busy sorry I can take this call um okay so listen <laughs> no way no. my dude <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that homeboy over here said that my interview is better than yours. Oh, please. No one's ever going to top my interview. <laughs> he has a half a million views right now on a quote of the day. Uh, I just wanted to say that I, I complimented you today. <laughs> no, he did it. I did. Roll the clip. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, what? They they have budget now. <laughs> <laughs> when they came to me, they got budget. Wow, look at that! No, wow. It, it's because we had them in in the lap, like the you top know, at the top. Everybody was there. Here, everybody, everybody, everybody that lived there was there. <laughs> <laughs> we we had a live audience over there for him. Did you have snacks or anything? He did. And tequila. Yeah, no, we had snacks. Tequila, there's, there's drinks. No snacks here. <laughs> Do you have alcohol? There's alcohol, but they got... Okay, yeah. They had alcohol for me. <laughs> they yeah. had, like... They finished the whole bottle themselves. I thought there'd be, like, a charcuterie board or something. <laughs> <laughs> aunque, aunque sea. <laughs> aunque sea. Right? Yeah, they brought all their homies. They brought all their friends. <laughs> all friends. It, for some reason they were all available today today they were all available if not I would kick them out it's a party today in LA it's always, they, we're going to lunch after this tell them in LA it's always a party oh, not in Coachella they're taking you out to lunch yeah they said que mariscos o no se que
That we're going to WeHo tonight. He said, Que al revolver y a Mickey's, he said. Hey, she knows where it's at. Hey, she knows. Ay. So, tell him there's nothing happening in Coachella, though. There ain't nothing happening in Coachella, he said. Nah. Please. Please. Angel, I told you already. Do you hear? There's nothing. There's no, there's no traffic. No <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. There's no traffic. <laughs> I, see no, I see no homeless people around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, <laughs> we're not cutting it either. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I'll uh, I'll talk to you a little later. Okay. <laughs> right. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, you wanted to do that. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> give, I gotta give it over. Give it over. Give it over. But Leo wanted to do that. He wanted to rub it in his face. <laughs> I like starting drama. <laughs> we're going to end up on TMZ for no reason. <laughs> they were like these little small podcasters. For real. So, uh, dude, I don't know where we left off because. Uh, don't ask me. No, but then, yeah, yeah, look how I asked it. See this? He's so proud of himself, too. <laughs> no, I'm just. He's all, don't ask me. I'm just <laughs> here. What the? It's because he has one viral TikTok that hit 1.6 oh, million. That's, time. that's it. He's time. living off of that right now, for yeah. sure. What did you do in the. He was drunk. Oh. You want to see it? You want to see it? It's, it's, not, it's not much. He was super drunk. It's not, it's not much. Dude, and, and we do content for him 24 7, and he doesn't post anything. That's like, I can't do this with my friend. Party Hardy. Dylan. <laughs> okay, I went to my profile just to make sure you were following me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, nah. Yeah. He only does TikToks with famous people. He did it with Magali. He did it with Michelle. Michelle was like the famous barista from Starbucks. <laughs> and did it out. And then Magali. Baila con Amanda. So he was like, I only, like, I'm, I have a, I would say I have a big TikTok following. He, he's never done one with me. Uh, he's like, mm, he's like, what's the count? <laughs> okay, I'm not big enough. <laughs> he's like, not worthy. I, did, I do it with them all the time. And so you see me dealing with this guy here. They're just, they, they stay in the drafts. <laughs> they stay in the drafts. I, he's like, I have an idea. I'm going to work on this. You've been working on it for a whole year. <laughs> um, it's because I only, I, I do Quality, not quality. Oh. oh. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should I end this now or later? Oh. <laughs> so you see everybody here, right? So everybody here in present in the podcast, in this show, is close to us. We all have a bond. We all, when we get together, it's it's different. You know, they're, we're here and we're not using each other for whatever need that we, we're here for. The positive vibes. We're like I really live by that phrase. Tell me who you're with, I'll tell you who you are. You that you are in this position right now, how big is your circle? How much does your circle mean to you? Damn, that was big. That was deep. <laughs> you know how I don't tell me who you're with, and I'll tell you who you are. <laughs> All the deep boys and everything. Yeah. I'm gonna send that, that to my mom. I bring that low. <laughs> Relax. I just want to take some pictures. Oh, um, yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> my, uh, it's too soon. My, uh, um, I mean, I just, I just have random friends, I think. So random. Um, I you know it's it's uh, I have the same friends I've had forever uh, since I was like in second third grade. Really? Um, yeah, and it's it's very it's very it's very nice because it's it's easy. I think since I came to LA in this digital place space, um, 
to feel like you uh, uh, can start to change up a little bit, but yeah. um, but but uh, or 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 you know, a lot of people are are, are different here, you know, yeah. it's in this in this uh, like industry or whatever. Do you feel like people when you're at a certain level, people just want to take? Like, you come into the room and right away someone wants to just be on your profile, be on your story, be on your post, do something with you on social Not media. Me. I think from some of my friends. I don't really have clout. That's the thing. It's like, I think a lot of my friends do. And so my, my thing is, like, I do, like, just skit. So nobody, like, I'm not, like, an influencer because, no, I'm not, like, try this product because they're, like, Bitch, you try it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're not like. If me. you don't try it, then I'm not going to try it. Yeah. I can't be like doing like a diet pill and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm not. So I think it's more from like my friends. So you got to tell Angelito he's got a deal from Fashion Nova. Oh, yeah. I did that last year. Oh. I finished with them already. Oh, he, he over. said he's Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Barely? <laughs> nah. <laughs> You're finally nah. no, it's iconic. Nah, it's because um, uh, I can't just can't do clothes. I can't do clothes because it'll take like two months to send, and I'm like, no, that's not my size anymore. Wait, that was my size two months ago, bitch. But and we we always try to live that like, man, I want to fit into my high school size. No, my man. Oh no, I definitely no, did not. Dylan was like a size small. Now he's a no, fucking dude. I was, I was actually an extra small, and I'm a large now. You were. That's tight. I'm trying no, it really was tight. That, <laughs> he, tried it, he, he tried it on. It wasn't working out. That that's cool. Dang, that was well. That's good. You still look healthy though. Um, I'm He's trying not. to get back to like two years ago, at least, or before pandemic. The thing, you know, I lost weight in the pandemic, and then I gained it back when I got to LA. You got money? No, no. Nah. I got depression. You, know? you got money? No. Depression? No. Why depression? Because it's like it's talk about it's, this. Uh, it's very, it's very. I mean, I mean, you go from you go from being homeless and not known by anybody, and 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 you know, I uh, my mom was in a coma before I started TikTok, and then my best friend got murdered, and then uh, all of that happened, and then I moved to LA, and then all of a sudden I got followers, and then all of a sudden. People start telling me how they feel about me. And so they're not telling that to an influencer. They're telling that to someone who hasn't fully gotten over their best friend's murder. Hasn't fully gotten over their mom being in multiple oh. strokes and comas. They're telling that to that person. And so that that makes you do something. So we did we did see that. We saw that that's that was one of I mean, it's life changing. Your friend. You know, uh speaking about this is I lost, I lost one uncle to being murdered, and I lost my best friend to suicide. And people don't understand unless you've been through it, how much it really takes toll on you. Like, uh, my birthday was two weeks ago, a week ago. You're a Libra, Scorpio. I love it. I love it. You're Scorpio season. I love it. That's beautiful. And um, literally two weeks prior to that. My best friend was committed suicide. So to me, my joy of a birthday isn't a joy because I don't have my dude to spend it with, right? To talk with. For you, what would, what is your emotional state? What is your mentality to like now? I mean, there's that quote. I, I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok. The what hurts most is. Now I have to remember you longer than I've known you. And oh, it's, wow. And it sucks. That, yeah. yeah. And it sucks because I was like, damn, you're fucking right. And it sucks. But I use it as fuel. I use it as, all right, I'm going to cry a little bit right now because I am who I am. But I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to make you proud. And when it's my time, hopefully in 100 years from now, we get to talk about all this. So for you... How do you, how do you move the way you move, and deal with deal with all this behind the scenes? Well, I mean, for me, like my thought was always like when I, as it relates to my friend, I always think like, I, I wish that you would have been here now because I think he was there during like the the the, the 
desert. And when and we were struggling together, and and so I think like, oh my gosh, like could you imagine like if you're here now, like now now I have a home, like my own home, and now I'm doing stuff that I like wrote back then, and 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 I wish that you saw that because like one of the big things is like I never really I don't I know, I, know, I don't feel like I ever in my life was ever happy until um, until like like a, a year and a half ago. And I think like, oh fuck! I wish you saw me happy, because you saw the worst of me, and and you were, and, and that was that's like this is this was this is the this is so far the best, yeah. And so and so for me, that's what it was. Is like I was like, I, I um, yeah. I think about that a lot. I, I still think, you know, and I think about that on every like milestone. My first magazine and second and, and my first billboard. I just think like, oh man, that's crazy. I wish you would have seen that. Well, let's give you those flowers for being on the billboard and the magazine, bro, because you <laughs> did it. Hey, you you did it next to. Uh, I'm I'm sure you're close to him. You talked to him, uh, Santi, right? Two of you, pioneers. Two of you that are leading the way for everybody that once imagines, wishes, and could be, right? And you guys found your way, found your niche. And maximizing all areas, you brought up your mom. Your mom is something, right? Because I watched the Don Cheto one. Yeah. And the way you spoke about your mom that time, your mom is really special, special to you. What, what is that one thing your mom has taught you that you live with forever? Um... I mean, the thing with her is is that she and I know a lot of people like everybody will say you know that their mom is just so strong, but the things that my mom has endured is just like it, it, it's it's almost like if 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 one person did to my mom what has happened in her life, it's almost unforgivable. The stuff that she's been through. And and so I think because of that, the way that she's been able to um, uh, still continue to provide or was able to provide what she could because she did what she knew to do. Yeah. Uh, as a foster child herself um, who wasn't taught what it was to have a mom, she she – there was never uh, there was never no love, and so that's what it is. That's what it that's what it is. And so now, now that I'm um, at this point, I think like no matter what, like I am trying. I hope that like that I I can be. I hope that I don't get mistaken for what what I'm trying to do, which is love is, and that's it. Like that's what I'm trying to do above everything, no matter what. I think I'm trying to um, uh, hold people tight because um, uh, I think for a long time I had that like eviction sort of mentality where it's like I don't want to try to get close to someone because then they're gonna go, yeah. and then and then after after my friend left, I was like, well, don't invest in another friendship because then they'll go, yeah, you know. But then there's that like. You know, there's that that, uh, and I, I won't say the the line right, the saying right, but it's like, um, it's like mientras hay música hay que bailar, essentially. You know, while oh. it, while it's here, while we're here, oh. while it's here, and it's fine. Like it's fine. If if I if I if I pass in three years, and we know that I'm gonna leave in three years, let's at least there's music right now. There was something that I was really thinking about <clears throat> before we got here because everybody that's here already knows how nervous I was for this shit, right? And there was one thing where, I mean, I said it earlier, you know, now I got to remember you for longer than, than i known you. But we are all here. You are here. You're the, the guest. You're the man of the hour. You're the one doing it all. We watch you on social media. TV, we watch you on TikTok. We watch you everywhere. Everywhere there's a social media platform, you're there. 
one of the things that that I've been trying to resent with, and and me and Cindy behind the camera number one over there, we talked about yesterday was what's our goal, what's our purpose, what can we do for here until until then. So I was thinking about this today, and it was that phrase where I don't want to re- I don't want to be remembered for what I could have done. I want to be remembered for what I did do and what I did do for everybody else that was around me during that time. Not for what I could have done, because what I could do is a lot more than I can do now. But what I'm doing now, I want to be remembered for that impact. So for you, you're doing everything. What's the purpose? What's the reason? Is it to provide for your loved ones? And Yeah, I mean, I... I um Look, look, after after that um, after that childhood, I think that it's very easy to be just mad and and resentful and yep. and I think that there's um, you have all the reason to be there, there's so much reason to be mad, <laughs> but um, but it's exhausting and and so I think like um, my offering now is. Is, is my way of saying that I'm fine. Um, so f- to my mom and my dad, uh, you know, he, he lives in, 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 in Guanajuato and he has uh, children over there. He has a wife over there. And, and my mom is still in Central California. Um, my way of, my ability to provide now is my way of saying that I'm not, uh, I'm not upset. I'm mad. I'm not. You know, at my dad, I'm like, I'm, I'm. Look, you, you, you have two great kids and and a great wife, and and I want to show you how okay I am with that. I'm, I'm so okay with it. I'm so happy for you that I want to support you. And and as as it relates to my mom, I think like she had nothing. Like her, one of her teachers bought her graduation dress. She was a foster kid, and and so now, my one of my purposes right now is whatever my mom wants. I, you know, she's still sick. She has kidney. She has renal failure, um, stage five. And so, uh, my purpose now is not to say no. If you want a big bed, then get you that bed. Like I, I, whatever you want. And so that's 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 all. That's what I feel like. I almost feel like it, uh, once both of them are gone, if if that's the time that my social media career ends, then that's fine. Because at least during that time, I was able to to um, to give them something that they. Does your mom deserved. watch your your content? My mom? Yeah. She doesn't know what I do. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Did it? Nah, yeah. She uh, she's starting to watch. Okay, uh, so if. This is probably one of the things I will clip, but if there's something you would tell your mom, what would you tell her? Uh, what would I tell her? Yeah, you had that one moment, you know, like you just. Yeah, well, I mean, it's what I we 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 chat right now a, a lot, and, I, and um, I'm very I'm a very emotional person because of her, um, and and so one thing that I uh, that we just even just talked about last week. Uh, is I'm um, I'm fine. Like we're fine. That's it. Like we're fine. There's there's no there's no reason to be mad because um, you know you did what you could with what you had, and and for me to expect to have had something better is it's almost offensive. People suffer. That's part of that's part of what makes us human. Yeah. And it's an honor to suffer, um, because God, it, it, it's it's a connection with God. Is for me, that's how I feel. It's like it's a privilege to suffer. Um, it's a privilege to weep, because it it, uh, it it makes you more understanding. It gives you empathy that you should have for people. If you don't have it, then I think that's a dis disadvantage uh, to your life. And so. Um, 
I just say that we're fine. We're good. I whatever was bad as a kid um, has been fixed a thousand times uh, just by being able to work now with. Uh, there were people that I was watching on TV that would make me laugh during my crying, and now I'm working with them, and that's my payback. And if that's that, then that that problem has been fixed a thousand times. No, yeah, you don't have to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let me call out Dylan because Dylan has not said one word. It's because when starts when, when things start getting emotional, I'm I'm a very emotional person, he, and you know that. No, he's not. I'll he, start crying, bro. So I literally will tears. start. You know, you, hey, I you, don't you believe this. You believe this? Wait, you haven't cried this whole time though. <laughs> I gave you some strong stuff. He really did. I almost cried. If Play. you re, if you review the footage, you, you'll see like um. She was crying. Uh, right let's there. roll it. Look at that. Look at the playback. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> almost hey, there. people don't know our setup is like crazy right here. Yeah. It's crazy. We have like oh ten different cameras. You know, the we got monitors. monitors. Yeah, we have that monitor right there chilling. That's off. Oh, it's, it's up on. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking down. I was trying to make you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Leo. I'm not a good actor. I, I can't act. I'm sorry. Let's do an acting challenge. I'm not just Try it. Let's go. Go go. Let's I, go. I'm let's not, go. I'm start with you. With me? Yeah. Nah, but it has to be like a role play like all of us. Hey, 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 yo, yo, no. yo, 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 hey. Whoa. Hey, Whoa. yo. Whoa. I thought this was a part. I usually hey. skip this part. <laughs> I mean, like, we're characters in a movie. Oh, okay. I was, I was Whoa. Saying, I, what kind I was of movie like, did you watch? Let me take another watch? shot. Maybe we'll do it. Hold up. <laughs> Dylan, I love you, though, but I don't. <laughs> you guys heard that part? <laughs> I think we all heard that part. That's why I don't talk, bro. That's why I don't talk. <laughs> He's like, just give me another shot. He's like, fuck it. Don't even give me the shot. Let's try it. <laughs> he was like, fuck it. It's what it is. <laughs> He's all 20s, 20. What were you saying? Now, let's start. Let's start this. All right. So let's go. Let's get in, right into this. What is your feeling when George Lopez recognizes who you are? And now you share, you shared a platform with him. That's how you do do his, uh, how he does co comedy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, like, what's what's the feeling? Because that is someone that we've all, if you're. You guys know him? I'm, just, the, I'm all gatekeeping. I'm like, wait, you guys have heard of him? <laughs> wait, we know who? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Right, hey, right now on Hulu, he streams pretty much all night. I'm not going to lie. I watch is he on Hulu? The, the sitcom? The show, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That was a good show. It still is. And then on TikTok, they do the, all the, like, the parts. Oh, my God. They play clips on TikTok, yeah. Yes. Oh, I guess so. It's like two minutes. Away. Do you own one of those pages? You probably do. No, I wish. I should invest. You do. You should. Um, no, yeah. I uh, I, I mean, I, I literally, uh, like all of us here, uh, just grew up just, like, loving him. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, I'm like, damn, I need to call him. Imagine. Oh, hey. <laughs> Imagine. Um, let's move on. You have to chase it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to chase it. Wait, 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 wait. Dylan, how do you eat Del Taco? <laughs> hey, no, I'm not doing that shit. No. How do you eat Del Taco? No, 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 no. How do you eat Del Taco, Dylan? Dylan. I don't eat Del Taco. If you eat Taco Del Bell. Taco, something's Taco wrong Bell. with you. You eat Taco Bell at 3 in the morning after being hot. I only What'd eat Del do? Taco when I'm drunk. Wait, no, wait, no. It was no, a burrito no. that was super hot. How'd you eat it? You <laughs> slurped? <laughs> How'd you eat it? I didn't eat no burrito. Oh, you swallowed it? <laughs> How did you swallow it? <laughs> It was hot or what? <laughs> that bitch was hot. <laughs> yeah. How'd you hold it? Hey, hold on. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> that was a, that was, no, 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 no. I'm going to show it. Do it, do it. No, I'm not going to For the, sh for no, the let's, just, let's please, just For the content, for the content. That was a, that was a, the, the two-handed <laughs> okay. burritos. Okay, okay, <laughs> the content, do it, please. <laughs> I got goosebumps. <laughs> it was two-handed? It was two-handed? Fuck. Damn. Hey, 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 you get that shit for three ninety nine, bro. So hey, go for it. Only three ninety nine. Only three ninety nine. If you're on a budget, you you'll get two handed shit on a budget. 
So you had to go like how? <laughs> exactly like that. Well, so you want you to it's go. not big enough. <laughs> um, it was good though. <laughs> no, he ate it all. He ate it all. Do they put sour cream? Oh, but let's, all right, let's get <laughs> moving. So sharing the stage, what was that feeling like? It was, um, it was, it was cool, man. It was just. <laughs> I'm trying not to fucking laugh. It was exciting. <laughs> I'm going to go working out for no reason. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't even work out. No more burritos at three in the morning. Let's do this. That's what you call it? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. And he's like, you know what I could go for? Some girthy. Some little girthy. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. I can't do this. And he's all shy. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> all right, let's. Nah, this is, this is, nah. Nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a good go on, bro. Right. Definitely more than Angelito. Oh, I mean, he brought, wait, J, wait. he brought J Queen that day. Oh, hey, hey. hey. He brought J Queen. Hey. Whoa. Hey, yo. No, the day of the podcast, he brought J Queen. Oh, okay, okay. Do you, you guys are my. Oh, my God. You guys get the fuck out. Get out. Get out of here. Oh, Parte grosero. Hey, no. No te enseño respeto, por favor. The feeling of working with George Lopez. Please. The feeling. You good? Uh, I'm good. I'm straight. Let's do this. <laughs> That's that last drink you were talking about. <laughs> Hold on. Before you start talking. Let's right, just drink a little bit. Um, no, it was good. It was very fun. It was crazy. <laughs> no, pues ya. I got to get it over with. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, keep us going to same one. Was it a surreal moment? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, you met pretty much the whole cast. You now were a witness to the whole new show that he's coming back out with that's yeah. premiering soon. And premiered. Premiered. There we go. Uh, premiered on Friday. It's, it airs Friday nights at 8 p.m. on NBC. Next day streaming on Peacock. Oh. Bam. Bam. <laughs> we're not going to get paid. <laughs> we're not there. I'm sorry. We're not like you. I know. Um, don't no enough. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was cool because I mean, obviously the old show I just I loved, and and so being a part of this one, uh, just to witness it was cool. Obviously, I'm not part of it yet. It's like I casted. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's surreal. I mean, I did his podcast uh, uh last year, I think last summer, and um, he's great. He's been. It's so nice. Yeah. To Just what you, what you wish for. So before we end this show, what like we're gonna go through the questions. Toughest moment that you had to deal with, be like personally, that like no one else knows. Like how'd you deal with it? That's your wrap up question. No, no, definitely no, not. No. no, come on. He's like, All right, and power question. No, What's no. the toughest moment? No, no, definitely not. Um, Me crees? The toughest moment that I had? Yeah, it's oh, I don't know. It's a rough, it's a rough one. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I, okay, I, so I mean, toughest right now. And being this type of platform, being in your scenario, you know, being around people that say they love you, they like you, want to be around you. Um, I think, I mean, the, the toughest moment is that the, the, there's things that just never stops happening, um, you know. Um, no matter how how um, popular or whatever you get, um, when your mom's sick, she's sick, mm -hmm. and so that's that's the one thing that still has continued on, and, and I still have to kind of navigate through. But it, but I, but it, but it keeps you kind of uh, pretty grounded because um, you know you can only feel so so cool. Yeah. Do you, right now in the month that this episode premieres. What it's month is it right now that it premieres? September? Nah, November. It's November. Okay. November. So I'm I'm going to get to work on this really quick so we can post it. Okay. Because people need to listen to this. Mm -hmm. And it's mental health awareness for men. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
This month? This month. Sir. Yeah. It's a big month. So, I know, I mean, girls go through it too. I'm not going to say they don't because they do. But us men, we accumulate for the biggest numbers of suicide, depression, all that other stuff. For the people watching you that are looking up to you, which is, I mean, you're... The people that watch you are young, our age, and even older that love how funny you are, how your charisma and everything. What would you tell someone that's going through a tough moment? Um, I mean, I think that, um, I mean, it's a hard question to answer because there's, there's not a lot that we can say to people. I think when you're going through something, people can tell you so much. That's like, all right, thank you. But this is still happening. Yeah. And um, so it's, uh, I, I don't feel super qualified to have a full, decent answer. You have but a platform. What I will say, um, what I will say is that I, I have seen what can be done when you allow yourself to, um, to to dream of something different, um, and it's so it's really hard to work when things are so bad because I know that normal people have normal problems, yeah. and it's a, and it's it's hard. Life is so hard for so many people. You can walk through a neighborhood and walk in somewhere and see how hard someone's life is, and and that could be uh, one of us right now, and. Um, I would, I would just say that it's important to, uh, to, to, uh, press in to whatever your passion is, um, and to keep hoping for that because I, 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 I spent a lot of time not laughing. I spent a lot of time not dreaming or, or, or anything. And now I feel like it's, it's, uh, the other side, like it's the other side of the mountain, and and I know that life is so crazy and it's miserable for a lot of people. It's just this hot desert. But I think that there's the other side where there's like a nice shower, nice rain, and 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 I don't know how to get you there. I wish I knew how to get you there. I wish that you didn't have pain. But um, but just know from a really negative person, a really a really lonely person. That, that it can be better. And I don't know what that looks like for you. I don't know what your plan looks like. But um, but it's worth it to try. It's worth it to uh, to um, to still try to plan it out. Um, but but um, I wish there was a one-size-fits-all. I'm going to give it up because I wasn't about to <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> Jose, can I get a shot, please? Jose? I know. That's the shot pour. Oh. I know. A shot? Would you like a shot? Do you want a shot, David? Just said the Nario. Just said the Nario. Said the Nario only. Said the Nario only. Como no tomo, pues. No tomas consejos? Yo no tomo. La gente que está viendo, yo no tomo. Consejos. Shit. It's been crazy. Bam. Appreciate you. This is Jose in the frame. If you have it, bring this. Jose was the one that got me extremely fucked up in San Diego. That is one of these records. That is awful. We're going to San Diego this month. You want to go? You going for what? Uh, the podcast. Si, 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 si. Este tiene la mano pesada. You want a little bit or double? Huh? Every shot oh, no, is. I can't do. It. I genuinely can't. No, I can't no. handle it right now. Yeah. Pretend. Oh yeah, two two. Damn, that was like three this seconds. Shit's heavy. Damn, that's crazy. I thought you were gonna pretend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dylan, you gotta leave us with a motivational quote, Ooh, dog. Come on, you know how we do. So to all my people out there, that's right. The quote of the day, yes sir, or the quote of the year, because the year is almost over. Yes is, sir. If you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So Ooh. don't get caught slipping, bro. You got this. You got this. <laughs>
Right, Leo, you gotta top that. And you gotta top Angelito. Was it, what, what was Angelito? Angelito was, you want me to play for you? Play it for has you. half a million views right now on IG, and I don't know, even know how much on on TikTok. But well, you, you posted only that part? I posted a lot about him because he was amazing. But let me tell you. I'm a salty bitch on your date. I got you. Never, I'm salty. Bitch. I'm a salty bitch on your date. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. Period. I can't top that. <laughs> I can't top that. What? You tell us. Off your chest. Someone comes up to you. Hey, Leo, what's the quote of the day? The quote of the day, um, the quote of my, well, now I feel pressure. <laughs> the quote of my life Say it. is, um, is, hazlo y si te da miedo, hazlo con miedo. Um, and it's true. Do it um, even, with, even with fear, even when you're scared. Still do it. Do it even if you're stressed um, or tired or broken. Um, still do it. Purr. Purr. Job Where you at? <laughs> so if, if you've stayed this song, which I know you did, not because of me and Dylan, but because of Leo. Because Dylan already fucked this up. So I'm not going to cap. I fuck everything up. I fuck my life up. I fuck everything up. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. That was real. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> Why do you think I drew so much? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Hey. So the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> but if you stay this song, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow because we're making the uncomfortable conversation, conversations comfortable. And if at one point in your life you ever doubted yourself, Give it a try. You're going to surprise yourself at how great you really can be. And you're going to see how great the world's going to see you. Because one man said it himself, Chris, and he told me, you are great. It's just the world hasn't seen you yet. Ooh, Let the I world see you, and you're going to see how great everybody loves you. So everybody here and everybody watching, a toast to life. Hello, everybody hello. there. Hello. 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 A toast to life. You know how we do. The most authentic <laughs> more story. Oh, <laughs> well, we cut that part out. <laughs> it, Leo, I do wanna I wanna thank you for coming all this way from Sacramento and, and showing up here, you know, on a last minute call. Yes, um this has been amazing. It's been legendary. And this has been the best podcast we've had till to this day. So I'll send the invoice by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you send it to Dylan. Hold on, let me let me look for change down here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> let me start looking for the change. But no, nah, honestly, thank you so much for, for coming, for blessing us with your presence and your words. You are a pioneer in this generation, in this timeline. And what you do it doesn't go unnoticed because you are working out of out of love. And with the passion and everybody that is following you, your million followers and million likes and half a million on everywhere, sees it. I think that was right, right? That was right. Yeah. About there. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Do that. But do that. Little. You are amazing. We love you. Thank you so much. It's also live. You already know. Great podcast. Let's go.